All right, so I got a real quick tech tip for you today. Say you have a differential bushing, subframe bushing, control arm bushing, whatever you got, any of these rubber isolated steel encapsulated bushings, and you need to get that installed into your case. This one in particular has a real small shoulder right here on the edge. This is going to float in the middle right between these two positions. It's going to line up in this mating flange right here. There's a 45 degree bevel on this bracket which is going to force it to stop whenever it gets to the seated position. As you can see, I've already got one installed. I'm going to show you how to do it uh, efficiently and effectively on the other end. First thing you're going to want to do, if you have a sensitive item such as this case, do not set this mating surface in anything sharp. You want to make sure that this stays protected the entire time. So just by looking at this, I can tell that this back side has the beveled edge. So it's the side that the bushing is going to insert from. It's going to fit in a little bit loose. You can try and smack it with a hammer to get it to stay still, but I'd recommend uh, you just hang tight and see what we're going to do next. And we can prevent any unnecessary damage from that bushing. So step one, we need to find a washer that is bigger than the steel surface of the bushing itself. So I've got a three-quarter grade eight here, and it is just barely bigger than the steel case of this bushing. So that way, when we put on the back side and we're pulling through with this with our long bolt, it's not gonna try and pull the bushing out of the case itself. So we've got our bolt, we've got a little washer on the end. I'm gonna get this started. Put your big washer on. slide it in. Now if you've got a multitude of sockets like I do, you can go ahead and try and find the best match for whatever bolts you have laying around or just go to the store and buy a couple of bolts. Grade 8, make sure you do not get lock nuts on the other side. Just get regular open nuts. We want this to slide. If you're having trouble messing up the threads, you can go ahead and apply a little bit of lubricant to this uh, and go slow. Take your time. If your tolerances are too tight, you're going to tear up that bolt and it's just going to start stripping. This one here I did on the other side and it worked out perfectly. We'll just slide this over, half inch bolt, half inch socket, so it fits just perfectly. We're going to put a washer on the back side, get our nut, get that started. I like to go ahead and just snug everything up where it's in the right position. That way uh, the socket doesn't shift or anything else happens and that bushing starts to go in a little bit crooked. So once you get finger tight, you can start to snug and twist and turn and make sure you move this washer on the back side to where it's nice and centered. You don't want this to pull through off center, otherwise it's going to dig in and try and push this rubber outside of the sleeve. Go ahead and grab your impact wrench and your socket. Put your wrench on the other end. Make sure you're on forward and go ahead and tighten it down. So this went ahead and stopped. Now two things could have happened. I could either be out of thread on the bolt or I could be already down to the mating flange. We'll check here in a second. Let's back this off. Careful, sometimes these nuts come off a little bit hot. Looks like we've got everything set up right where we want it. Really tough to see down in there, but that mating flange is right up against the bevel. If you ended up needing some more room, what you can do is get a nut the next size up. So this is a half inch bolt. We go to a 9 16 nut or even 5 8 should work. And we'll put that in as a spacer. And that's going to get us a little bit more extra room to pull that bushing up into the bore. And you can stack these as far as you can until you run out of room. Or you may need a longer or shorter bolt. And that's all I've got for this tech tip. Thanks for watching the Epic Tim.